Hey, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here, and today I'm bringing you gameplay of one of the new weapons that was introduced into Advanced Warfare, the Blunderbuss. If you guys weren't aware, three new weapons with a ton of variants were added to Advanced Warfare this Tuesday, and you can get these weapons via Supply Drop. They aren't just giving the base weapons away to everyone, you have to, like, actually, I guess, earn them via a supply drop. And then once you get a variant in the supply drop, the base weapon unlocks. And I have some feelings against that system and the uh, advanced supply drop system in general, but we're going to save those for another video. So, the Blunderbuss is a shotgun, and at first I thought this thing was going to be horrible, and... It's not the best shotgun or gun in the game, but it is definitely really fun to use and is really rewarding when you get kills with it. So we'll start off stat-wise, this thing is very similar to the TAC-19 except for two main things. This gun does way, 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 way more damage than TAC and it has a way, 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 way slower reload. Um, this thing shoots like double the pellets of a regular shotgun, so its damage is just like... it. It's way higher than the other ones. It has like the same range, so it's pretty much more damage, but a very, very slow reload. And the weapon kind of reminds me of the uh, No Land Beyond from Destiny. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Destiny, but the No Land Beyond was an exotic weapon, and exotic is supposed to be kind of like some of the best weapons in the game. And it was designed to be meant for certain players. Well, not everyone could use it, but certain players could use it, and it's very rewarding when you get kills with it and stuff. But Bungie messed up when they were developing it. And there were many variables that made it suck, and one of the variables was this slow stow. Um, like, in between shots, you had to cock the sniper rifle back, and then put it forward like the moors. It's like, pretty much, imagine the moors with like a 5 second cock back time between it. That's No Land Beyond. That's why this blunderbuss kind of reminds me of No Land Beyond, because it's a very, very slow reload. But, the slow reload kind of adds a, a certain skill to the weapon, and when you learn how to use it, it's really fun to use. Um, there's... But I think like 12 variants of this gun. There's like five for the other two, but there's 12 variants of the blunderbuss in this gameplay I'm using the dog lock because that's what I got for my first one and it gives you like a plus one to range and a minus one in like Mobility or something. Um, one of the best variants is the legendary dragon fire. It just looks awesome It's like an ancient Chinese dragon like sculpture on the end of your gun and it has like the best stats so um Kind of hoping I get that, except it's legendary, so we don't know how those are going to, uh, how that's going to turn out. But, um, like I said, the thing's really fun to use, and the setup is really key when you're using this weapon. How I use it and how I think this weapon's meant to be is you have to be sneaky and then attack. So, you know, kind of lurking around the map and then punch people in the face with your blunderbuss. So, moving into the class recommendations, I like to have my, my main gun is the blunderbuss. I guess you could, like, use it as a secondary stuff but I like to use it as the main gun get kills with it and then once you kill you either reload or if you don't have enough time to reload you gotta finish an enemy off you know you actually use your knife to finish someone off punch someone or you switch to another weapon and finish them off or use that weapon when you can't reload or anything like that so the blunderbuss comes with three attachments it's a quick draw grip the advanced rifling and the stock attachment so what i like to use is the quick draw and advanced rifling of course advanced rifling gives you more range and the quick draw reduces your time you need to aim down sights and you want to aim down sights when firing this weapon because it reduces the spread a ton and then i like to use overkill with the ak-12 r.i.p um you can use a secondary if you want to free up another point that you can use or choose a different weapon. I like my AK-12 because it kills really fast, just switch to it really fast, it has little recoil, you just kill someone, do whatever you have to do with it. It's a nice weapon, I like to use it with that. And then for perks, low profile and blast suppressor, I feel like are necessary to stay off the radar. Because like I said, you want to be sneaky with this weapon. So low profile will keep you off UAVs that are always happening. Blast suppressor lets you boost across the map. Um, if you're chasing someone down, you can boost on them, catch up, and then pop them in the back or do whatever you need to do. It's kind of the sneaky tactic to the uh, whole class setup that I was talking about earlier. And toughness and scavenger aren't really necessary because toughness, you're using a shotgun, you don't really need to have toughness. And then scavenger, you get nine shots with this weapon and, um... As of now, people are using it so you can pick ammo up off the ground from dead people who had the blunderbuss, or you can switch to your secondary, primary, whatever the heck you have in your other weapon slot. 
I just never find myself running out of ammo even when I went on big kill streaks, so scavenger I don't find necessary. Now the final two perks I have, fast hands and gung ho are a must. Fast hands, like I said. Blunderbuss is awesome, takes a lot of people out, it's good, but if you're getting overran by enemies, you gotta switch to your secondary weapon and kill them off, so fast hands is necessary, you need to you need to have that fast hand so you can guarantee yourself a chance in a gunfight if you're getting charged or something like that. And then gung-ho, you're using a shotgun, you wanna be ready to shoot that thing at any time, so I feel like that's a necessary thing that you need to have too. And then with overkill, you have, you're using 9 points, so you have 3 points left. I like to use mine on the streaks, you can use it for whatever you want. But that's what I recommend for your class setup with this blunderbuss, because, like I said, sneaky, and then attack. That's how you should use this weapon. So, um, yeah, that's the blunderbuss. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Um, like I said, I thought it would be really bad, but it's not too bad. It's really fun to use. I mean, it's not like a bad weapon like the EPM3, where you're just totally handicapping yourself. But, you know, it's a decent weapon with a certain skill you have to have and it's very fun to use very rewarding so um, yeah that's it hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay i'm gonna be posting more gameplay if i get the stg44 or the svo sniper rifle from a supply drop um within the next couple of days if i get it within the next week i'll upload the gameplay with this uh, specific video for the gun if not um you just get you guys will find out when i get the gun in a uh, gameplay first or fridays or whatever but with that hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think of the blunderbuss down below in the comments and if you guys like it don't like it all that and with that guys thanks for watching super skater i'll see you guys on the next video Peace out.